Well, late into Sunday night, the Congress party announced the three candidates for the Delhi seat. This is the only area where the AAP and the Congress party has an alliance and three have fallen into the Congress's kitty, Udit Raj, J.P. Agarwal and from Northeast Delhi, Kanhaya Kumar. For many, it came as a surprise because the name of Sandeep Dixit was also doing the rounds, possibly from Northeast or even from Chandni Chowk. Sandeep Dishit, of course, of course, does not figure in the list, but it is Kanhai Kumar which now could ch make it a big churning out moment both for the Congress and make the fight very interesting between the BJP on one side, the AAP plus the Congress on the other. As we all know, in the last Lok Sabha election, Kanhaiya Kumar, who is a former president of the JNU Students' Union and considered to be extremely close to the Gandhis, particularly Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, had contested from Begu Sarai, but he had lost. Since then, he has been roped in as uh, someone a part of the Congress organization and also uh, one of the most aggressive spokespersons of the Congress. He's also been the person who has faced a lot of attacks from the BJP and because of his association with the Gandhis and the Congress party of being a part of the Tukre Tukre gang. Well, getting in from Northeast Delhi is interesting because pitted opposite him will be the BJP sitting MP Manoj Tiwari. In fact, Manoj Tiwari is the only BJP leader from Delhi of the seven who has got a repeat of the tickets. The other six are completely new faces, which goes on to show that the BJP's internal survey makes them feel and confident that Manoj Tiwari could win from here. Now, Northeast Delhi has a large number of Bihar population, which could perhaps explain why both Manoj Tiwari was chosen by the BJP and Kanhaya Kumar who comes in from Begu Sarai in Bihar was chosen by the Congress party. And also, however, the caste factor, Tiwari, uh, unlike Tiwari, uh, Kanhaya Kumar is a Bhumihar community. Some within the Congress party do have reservations about that. But Kanhaya Kumar, like Panos Tiwari, is extremely a good communicator, orator, one-liners and extremely aggressive. And the Congress's calculation is that along with the AAP workers on the ground and their support and that of the Congress party, it could actually help up put up a tough fight against Manoj Tiwari and who knows, according to Congress, he can win it. But there are problem areas over here. First of all, the Kanhaya Kumar controversy of the Tukre Tukre Gam when there were allegedly slogans of Azadi given during the protest in Jawaharlal Nehru University. Since then, the BJP has been attacking Kanhaya Kumar and also the Congress party for being a party which believes in Tukre Tukre. In fact, we've seen that after the manifesto release, the Prime Minister said that the Congress party is a party which encourages the Tukre Tukre mentality. It speaks the language of that of uh, the Muslim League. That's how he labelled the Congress manifesto as. Now, this is, of course, going to give rise to a huge control controversy and when that hustle and bustle of the political campaign begins, you are going to see that strong reactions coming in from the BJP and from Manoj Tiwari himself where they will say that this is the typical mindset of the Congress party where they have chosen a person who is against the thread of national interest and nationalism. But however, the fact that the gift of the gab is something which both Manoj Tiwari as well as Kanhaya Kumar shared becomes a very important factor. Kanhaya Kumar, of course, has a complete support of the Congress and the Gandhis and therefore it will be no surprise if Priyanka Gandhi Vadra takes the lead in ensuring that Kanhaya Kumar gets and runs a very strong and aggressive campaign. This is going to be one seat which certainly is going to be interesting to watch out for.